Some people might bash me for this and uh, what I'm gonna say might be very controversial but I don't care. We all have our controversial opinions. All right, so we have this news story from ABS-CBN News and uh, I'm pretty sure that this has been picked up by almost all news outlets in the world today, including vlogs, etc. So another Miss Universe, her story, according to this caption from ABS-CBN. Uh, for the first time, two trans women have joined the Miss Universe pageant this year. So I'm just translating this as we read this Tagalog caption on ABS-CBN's uh, Facebook page. Um, the contestants are from Netherlands. Um, the name is Ricky Colley or Colley. I'm not really sure if that's the right pronunciation. And Marina Machere from Portugal. I think the the very first time Miss Universe had its very first, you know, trans woman was in 2018, and that contestant was from Spain. And um, that was the time when Catriona Gray won the crown. And we have a lot of comments here. We have 34,000 comments and counting. And uh, in terms of the, what do you call this, reactions, 15,000 and counting laughter emoji. 10,000 heart reacts of more than or nearly 5,000 thumbs up reacts. And um, I don't know what this is. Um, crying emoji, 1,400 uh, thousand and counting. And uh, if you're gonna check on the story, you don't have to read the story. But uh, apart from these two trans women, uh, there's also one married woman who joined the competition. And this is not really surprising, knowing the fact that the current owner of the Miss Universe pageant franchise is a trans woman from Thailand. So, in terms of the reactions, so we have this number one reaction here from VJ Floresca. Before I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this matter. So trans women, according to uh, VJ Floresca, trans women are women. You don't need to agree, LOL, cause the organization already allows it. So just watch these two women follow their dreams. So happy for them. So, I mean, this must be a woke, you know, Filipino creature. And uh, in terms of the reactions to the comment, uh, I don't know if it's he or she. I don't want to misgender anyone here and get cancelled for misgendering. But uh, it seems like VJ is getting a lot of reactions, mostly laughter reactions. So according to Pai Conde, I really love to read comments, especially when they're commenting on a very controversial issue. So uh, according to Pai Conde, if trans women are women, the word trans won't be there, period. I think he's right. And... All right, VJ. Yes, it's true. The owner of the said organization allows it, for she's a trans woman, so she's got a point. Uh, he he's got a point because this that comment come comes from Dan J. Buena Flor. So let's check on the other comments, sh shall we? So usually we need to click on all comments, and uh, we get to the other comments. So nakakalungkot lang may sarili mang pageant para sa mga trans, blah blah blah. Now we need to add Mister and Miss You. All right, so. I really like that a lot of Filipinos are not yet into the, this woke culture from the West. So these, you know, trans women or women insanity, I call it insanity, is coming from the Western wokesters, all right, whom uh, billionaire Elon Musk called uh, uh, having this uh, a woke mind syndrome or virus syndrome, etc. So, all right, so we Filipinos, it's really don't give a damn about about the gender or or preferences of a lot of people in my case my sexuality what or gender whatever that is is it's a private matter um but we don't give a damn if if uh, we're gonna call trans women ma'am or address them according to their preferred pronouns all right we're, we're gonna give that to them but on this issue um uh, that miss universe is gonna be allowing trans women to join i think that's that's um Kind of controversial to me in my opinion my very simple opinion why because you know there's a difference between men and women in terms of their biological makeup anatomy etc that's why we've never found no historian no archaeologist has ever found a trans women or a trans woman or trans women they've never found trans women uh buried like two thousand to four thousand years ago because you know uh, we are able to identify if that, you know, um, archaeological artifact or that body or a mummified body 2,000 years ago from Egypt, for example, 
is that of a man or a woman, right? Now, the good thing is, uh, even in Thailand, for example, uh, the ladyboys call themselves ladyboys, right? They don't call themselves, you know, I'm a woman, you know, and if you don't address me or if you don't believe that I'm a woman, you're a transphobe. Like, for example, let's listen to this, uh, to this beautiful ladyboy beautiful. from Thailand. Oh, thank you. Cute. But I'm Everyone. not a lady. You're not a lady? So what did you say? I'm what not a lady. I'm okay, hold on. Let's repeat. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Cute. But I'm not Everyone. a lady. You're not a lady? Yes. What she are you? said, I'm not a lady. I'm a, la I'm a lady boy. So this beautiful lady boy is really aware that she's not a woman. And she's not claiming to be a woman. Because to be a woman is, is you know, a real responsibility. They, there is what we call the motherhood, right? And... Uh, I don't know. That's just my opinion. And I really respect this ladyboy for not claiming to be a woman, not really insisting that, hey, if you don't call me a woman, you're a transphobe. Only Western uh, trans women do that, including their, their, you know, comrades, the LGBT comrades. But, you know, if you're going to come to think of, of it, you know, uh, there's actually a war or rift within the LGBT community, between the LG and the TQ, right? LGB versus the TQ. There's a war between lesbian, bisexual, and gays versus the TQ, the transsexual, and queers. Because uh, the TQs tend to be tend to be very, very radicals. 